Hey, what's up? Mike C here. Um, I have so many different video ideas and so many different things I want to say and I want to get out there. Um, but this one is just going to be a short video. I'm going to fill up some space and I'm just going to real quickly and briefly explain to people how the body, the human body, loses weight when you pass away. Why does it lose weight when you pass away? Uh, what is it that leaves you? Or does anything leave you? So, um, there have been controversial tests over time, uh, over this, and it's really not anything controversial. It's really simple and basic. Um, so here we go. The reason the human body loses weight when a person passes away is because their energy leaves them. You can call it your spirit, your soul, your essence, your life force, whatever you want to call it. But this is the thing. If you take a simple equation like E equals MC squared, E, energy, equals mass times the speed of light squared. Okay, so E equals MC squared. MC. Oh, those are my initials. Crazy. Anyways, so... E equals mc squared, mass times the speed of light. Not light, the speed of it. Mass. Well, if you have the speed of light, 1, plus mass, 1, then you get the third thing. So 1 plus 1 isn't always 2. It's three things. A lot of things work in threes. I'm going to go over that in future videos. I'm going to explain how Einstein actually came up with E equals MC squared, I'm going to explain a lot of things. So these videos are probably going to be very interesting for some people and very conflicting for others because they're going to be like, well, science says this, but I believe this. It really, take it as what it is, this is how it works. When you pass away, your energy leaves you. Your life force leaves you. Your life force, being that it's energy, has mass. Everything has mass when it's energetic. Even when it's not energetic, mass is mass. So you can't you can't take away from the fact that your essence, your being, is something that is actually tangible. Whether or not it's sensible and you can see it, it is there. When a living thing, and so it's expansive, it doesn't just apply to people. It applies to living things. When their energy leaves them, when they cease to be animated, and their energy leaves them, they lose weight. Because the mass, which has mass because it's partly matter, whether you can see it or not, you believe in it or not, scientists are really... They just blow my mind how complicated they make things and how they present things in these really fantastic and beautiful, aesthetically pleasing ways. But it's really simple. Your life force, your energy, has mass. It is a real thing. It is a tangible thing. You can contain it. You can control it. You can impose it. You can project it. It is a thing. So, um... Some of those things I'm not going to tell you how you can do, but, you know, the simple premise, I'm putting it out there. Your life force, your soul, your spirit, your essence, whatever you want to call it, is energy. And if you know anything about the laws of thermal dynamics, you cannot create nor destroy energy. So when your life force leaves you, you can't destroy it. You are eternal. But that's another different topic altogether. Um... It is an energy. You can change its form. And there's negative energy and there's positive energy. And I will go over that and I will talk about um, how to calculate for pi and why calculating for pi is a combination of positive and negative, yin yang, uh, qigong, qi, zen, all those things. I will explain them in simplicity so people can understand that you are very capable of a lot more than you think. It's just a simple understanding of people not 
giving it to you in a light and fluffy way. It's, these are the facts, this is what you can do, and you're capable for so much more. All right.